Hello ladies and gentlemen, so I'm with iCodeStuff here, bringing you back a quick tutorial today. Uh, in today's video, I will just be showcasing you the Laravel Litter Stack. Um, I already know you guys are kind of curious about what the Litter Stack is, so let me introduce you to what it, uh, what it solves. So in the past months, I've noticed a common trend where I download the same exact packages to my freshly installed Laravel application. Um, and so I've decided to coin the stack as the Litter Stack. Litter standing for Laravel, Inertia, Tailwind, TypeScript, and React. Yes, I can already hear your sigh of yet another acronym being introduced to the Laravel stack since I know we don't have enough of those. However, I feel this, is uh, this video is necessary because I've noticed a common theme of having to look back at my past projects just to get these combination of packages to work together. Uh, so in this video, I just want to show you uh, how to quickly get started with the Litter stack. Uh, it's mostly just going to be me installing packages and adding some configuration files. All right, so let's open up our terminal and cool. So the first thing we want to do is create a new Laravel project. Uh, we'll just say we'll use the composer way of installing a Laravel project since my Laravel installer isn't working quite correct. So we'll just say litter tutorial. Let that install. Perfect. So that looked like it installed correctly. So the next thing we can do is open up PHP Storm and that should, I don't know why it's being slow. Let me close this for now. All right, cool. So now that we have PHP Storm open, what we can do is open up our terminal from here. Um, so it's going to be more more convenient for us um, cool so the next thing we want to do is install inertia as that's one of the packages in the litter stack uh, we're going to install the server side inertia right now so inertia laravel oh i might have spelt it wrong require inertia here here we are. Let that install. And the next step, we want to create a app.blade file. And this is just standard. Uh, this is on the inertia documentation. This is pretty, pretty easy to follow. Um, and so what we want to do is copy, paste this from the inertia site. So it's just uh, adding the standard template for it. Um, next up, we just want to install the inertia middleware, and we can go to the kernel file, not the console kernel, the HTTP kernel, and we can add handle inertia request. Here we are. Cool. So we've installed inertia. The next thing we want to do is install some uh, NPM packages. Well, first we can run NPM install because we don't have our node modules installed at the moment. So if we check out what's in the package JSON at the moment, we can see it just has Laravel Mix, Lodash, PostCSS, and Axios. Um, what we will be installing is TypeScript and React. Um, so we can let this load for a second. Cool. All right. So what we want to do is install the standard React React DOM and then types React and then types React DOM like so. Um, the types would probably be in the dev dependencies, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I will be just bunching them up together. And then we want to install uh, TypeScript in the TypeScript loader and then add Babel preset React. And this could be dev. Cool. Uh, it should be dash D. Here we are. Oh, I keep doing it wrong. Dash D. And then we can copy these packages and then paste it. Why is that not working correctly? Oh, because I spelled TypeScript wrong. Gosh, my spelling is off. 
Thank you. That worked finally. <laughs> All right. Next, uh, to activate TypeScript, we want to create a tsconfig file. And you can just say tsconfig JSON and copy the standard. So I'll explain what's going on here. Uh, I guess the important part. So the paths, of course, include. Um, our resources uh, slash JS file, and then we want to uh, include the type .ts and .tsx files. Um, so those, those are the most important things that I had to add. Uh, otherwise, it's just your standard uh, tsconfig. Cool, so we have TypeScript installed, we have React installed, and we have Inertia on the server side installed. So now we want to install Inertia on the client side. So Inertia, JS inertia uh, npm install at inertia. Here we are. Cool. So that's installing. And while we do that, we want to remove our bootstrap file, or not bootstrap, but our bootstrap.js file, because we don't really. Um, Oh, we can keep it for right now. There's no reason why to delete it. I was just going to get rid of it, but eh. So instead, what we want to do for the app.js file, we can rename this file to app.tsx, and that will change it to TypeScript. And then from there, we can import um, some files. So what this is doing is importing React and creating an inertia instance um, so that we have access to it. Um, next up, uh, we want to install Tailwind. So npm install dash d Tailwind CSS post CSS auto prefixer. And that will be in our dev uh, dependencies. And then next up, we can initialize Tailwind CSS like so and then in our tailwind.config file there's going to be so we're going to want to add in our content array to ignore all of these files so if you look at um, the standard Laravel Tailwind CSS documentation uh, this is what they recommend um, and so if you want to actually get it working with TypeScript or JSX, you know, TSX or JSX, you have to add these two options as well. Um, I remember this was a pain point for me in the past, so I just wanted to highlight it. Um, cool. Next up, we want to update our resources uh, CSS file and just add the Tailwind dependencies like so. Cool. Um, next up, we want to update our webpack file. Um, this is another uh, pain point that I had in the past. Um, so it was using uh, mix.js, which wasn't working for me originally. So what we have to do is change JS to TS, and then we have to change this to TSX, and then we have to add in our Tailwind CSS and auto prefixer dependencies like so. Auto prefixer. Here we are. Cool. So those are all of the dependencies for the litter stack. Uh, that's pretty quick. Uh, but of course, now we want to test our code. So what we can do is create a new. J uh, TSX file. Oop, so call this page. Yeah, pages, I guess. Because if we go to the app.tsx, yep, it expects pages. And then what we can do is call this foo. And it's going to be a TypeScript file or TypeScript uh, GSX. And we can say this is going to be a function component. And then since we're using 
um, Tailwind, we can add some some flavor to the page, I guess. So I want to make it look a little pretty. So we'll just uh, add some some values to do that. So we're going to utilize the gradient. And we're going to use red and yellow, basically, from red 200 to red 300 to yellow 200. And then we want to center everything. So item center and then justify center. Cool. And then for our text, we can say text white, text center, text 7XL, font extra bold, and we can just say litter stack works. Cool. And then we're going to export this component like so. Perfect. And then um, let's run an npm run dev to compile everything. All right, so it looks like we have some issues. All right, so let's check out what's going on. Um, so let me pause the video for right now. So let me try something. Um, I'm going to remove this bootstrap dependency at the moment. And we're going to give it another try. Okay, so that didn't work. We'll keep on investigating. All right, so I identified the issue. Uh, we have to actually add the React uh, method in our webpack, like so. And then we can run npm run dev and it should work properly now. And then from there, we can test our code by going to the web.php file. And then for our route, we can say route inertia and we'll call this foo. And then it will use foo like so. And then we can start our server and then we can open that up, um, drag that over here, and then we can say slash foo. And it looks like everything works properly. Looks like I just spelled this wrong. <laughs> uh, but either way, as you can see, it has the pretty tail and background, and it's centered, and it has big text as we had hoped. Um, so yeah, that is the Laravel litter stack. Um, I hate to be the guy that coins another acronym for Laravel. However, I just feel this tutorial was necessary because I know the configuration for all these packages can be the pain, uh, be a pain in the ass. Even in this tutorial, we had a couple issues with the debugging process. So imagine if you didn't have uh, you know the knowledge prior, uh, like I did. Uh, you might have spent maybe an hour on it or something like that, uh, like I did on the first time. Um, so yeah, I, I hope this was helpful for anybody out there and, uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.